Good morning, everyone. Let's play the New York Times Hard Sudoku. It is Sunday, May 5th, 2024. I start by putting an 8 in box 3 immediately, because I have an 8 in row 3, an 8 in row 2, and an 8 in column 7, all looking into it. And then an 8 goes in one of those two positions. In box 6, as far as other digits in the top three rows, if, if 8 is removed, I have 9512267. I think I'm done. In the middle rows, 1793846, I'm done. And there's nothing in row 6, interesting. 7459380. Okay, I can, the only thing I can do in the bottom three rows is place a 2. Now, vertical scanning, I get something useful out of it. I can place a 9 in two spots in column 3. Eight one seven six three, interesting. I've got the same set of digits interacting in the left three columns and the middle three rows. I wonder if that's going to mean something later on. It might, but there's one two three eights looking into box six or eight, so I can place an eight there, and thus an eight goes in one of those two. There's a lot of symmetry involved in this puzzle. Hmm. Okay, 8 I've already placed. The other thing I can do is place a 2. One of those three. Mm. Okay, uh... Well, let's see. 4 rules these out. Well, and these out. Okay, so these are all ruled out by 4s in column 6 and row 7, respectively. So 4s in one of those two. Excuse me. <coughs> so 4s in an offset pair. Excuse me. <coughs> Let's see. Okay, 7 can't go there, so 7 must be in one of those. Oh, it can't go here or here. So, these cells are out, which means those are 7, and therefore one of these is 7. Okay, 6 I can place in box 4, I think. The 6 in row 5 rules that cell out, the 6 in column 3 rules these two cells out. I thought I could, but I still have too many spaces for it. Oh, 5 can't go here in box 8, or here in box 8, so 5 is in one of those two. So, these three cells, I think, are a weird 4, 5, 7 triple. <clears throat> and so I think I'm arguing that 1 and 6 can only go there. If true, that means 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 have been placed. I need 2, 6, and 9 in those three cells. Now this one can't be 2. And this one can't be 9. And that one can't be 6. And I can't scan the board right. Try this again. 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I need 2 and 3 and 9. That looks more promising. So, 2, 3, 2, 9, and 3, 9. And then this one forms a triple also. 4, 5, 4, 7, 5, 7, respectively. Now, I totally missed that column 7 has all the even digits placed, so the, <coughs> excuse me, the blank digits are all odd. That's these 5 and 9. It can only be 1, 
three because it sees five, seven, nine. This one can be anything but seven. That one can't be one or seven, so it's three, five, nine only. Oh, this one can't be one, five, nine, or seven. That is a three, and it's a hidden one. Which makes this one. And just like that, column seven is reduced to a five, nine. Well, let's see. One can't go here. We know one can't go here. And one can't go there. So one is one of those two. In box six. Uh, row five looks promising. Three, four, six, eight, nine. I need one, two, five, and seven. The central cell in box four is in two or five. This sees two, five, and seven. That is a one. It's hidden. Which places the one in box six. Uh, this sees one, two, five. That is seven. And therefore, this is two or five. Okay, these are a pair. They are three and nine, and I know the order. No. Three, nine, and something. One, two, four, five, seven, eight. They're three, six, and nine. Well, that's an, that's an interesting way to form a triple. Let's see, I've got one, two, five, seven, eight place in column eight. I need three, four, six, and nine. Oh, that one can't be nine, it can't be six. That is three or four. This is three, four, nine. But this is a three. This is four, six, nine. Okay. I've got nine in one of those two. Got nine and one of those two. And the only thing I've placed in row six is still just that one. Let's see, one, two, three, seven, eight in box three. I need four, five, six, and nine to fill out the rest. Okay, well, those can't be five. And so five must be in one of those two cells in column nine, box three, which means that's not five, that's a two. Therefore, those aren't two. Place of the five, then row five is complete. Six can still be in too many spots in box four. Let's see, one, four, seven, eight in box five. I need two, three, five, six, nine. These are going to be from three, six, nine. Neither can be two or five. Two, three, five, six. Neither can be nine. This one, I think, is anything but three. Well, that doesn't help me a whole lot. In box six, I've got one, two, five, six, seven, nine placed. I need three, four, and eight. Okay, three in box seven cannot be here or here. Fortunately, it could still be in any of those spots. That doesn't help me. Mm 
Okay. 7 in box 4 can't be here or here. So I'm limited to one of those two. Unfortunately, that could still be any even digit. That's anything even but six. Can't be seven or eight. That could still be anything. Let's see, two and a lot of those. And nothing else helps me. Can I place a 7 in box 2? It can't go there. It can't go here. These are ruled out by the 7 in row 3. These are ruled out by the 7 in column 4. So 7 is one of those two. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, 1 can't go here. Or there, it still leaves three spots for a one. That's annoying. I've got one, three, five, eight, nine in row one. I need two, four, six, and seven. That one's down to three. Uh, that one's down to three. Now they're all down to three. Oh, okay. Six ends up there because six ends up there. Which unfortunately doesn't give me a whole lot of much to work with. Uh, in box one, we have six, eight, nine, and that's it. With this weird configuration, none of those can be two. That sees one, five, seven. That just sees a three. That just sees a seven. Box two, we can only get rid of five and eight so far. Again, neither of those can be two. Neither of these can be three. Neither of these can be one. Or two. Okay, those are not, none of those are six, seven. That sees four, nine. That sees seven. It's down to three or four, but I don't have anything else to go with it. Harumph. Let's see, here I only get rid of the seven. <coughs> Excuse me, good grief. Okay, none of those are one, two, nine. These are two, three, eight. This one sees 9 by column. That one sees 1, 5, and 9 by column. This one, 5, and 8. This one, 3, and 6. And that one, 6. Okay, so with everything filled in, uh, 3, 4, 6, there's a triple. I have a 2 placed in column 2, box 4. So... I got all kinds of cells that can't be a two. Yay. Along with those that can't be a two. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, four, six, seven, nine. There's too many possibilities in that cell in column five. Uh, 
Uh, wait a minute. Okay, one ends up there. That doesn't tell us anything we don't know already. Let's see, eight's here. We knew that. Oh, where does two go in row five? Or four, I can't go here. By the place two, here by the given two, and here by the place two in the box. So two is there. That feels like another powerful digit, even though it doesn't help me with a whole lot. Did I have something else that was down to one or three? I thought I did. But two ends up in one of those two. Now let's see. Um, nine here, nothing else to nine. Six here means I have to clear out six from those spots. Unfortunately, six still crosses a region. Now, two other ones, actually. Excuse me. <coughs> Good golly. I'm still fighting a cold this morning. Uh, four, seven, eight. I've got two-thirds of one. And two-thirds of a four, six, eight in row four in column three, but I can't interact the two. There, nothing else in the box four or row six is a seven. Here, I have no help in box one whatsoever. Two, I've got a two that's limited and a six that's limited. In three, I've got a six and a nine and a five. Those are nine, and these can't be nine. Because those are nine. Ah, these can't be five. So five is in one of those two cells at the bottom of box 5, which means that's a 9. Okay, that feels like a key digit. So, this isn't 9. This isn't 9. That 5 isn't going to help us with anything. <clears throat> that may show up in the blooper reel. <clears throat> but there's a 356 triple. In box five, that places the nine. Mm. What it says is this can't be six, this can't be three. Okay, that leaves a four seven eight triple in row six and amazingly also in box four. So what that does is that places the six in box four. And so these aren't six. So one of these two is a six. Hmm. 
four, seven, eight. I still don't have a four, seven, eight in column three. I wish I did. Six, seven are limited. Three still isn't. In box two. Get rid of those being five because that doesn't help me any. This is over 20 minutes, which is not good. Hmm. Well, there's two thirds of a four, five, eight that I can't resolve either. Five and nothing else is five. You know, putting three there and three there doesn't do me any good. Oh. Three, four, seven, that's a triple. In column five, and therefore that's six. Which places five, three. That gets us somewhere, I think. Okay, those are not four. This isn't five. That's not five either. Three in column six will place the one. This isn't seven, so that one is. The one in column six will place the six and one. That can't be one or four, that's nine. This can only be a two, that can only be a six. So two, four pair in row one places a three in box one. Either of those are three, and this isn't one or two. That leaves a three, four, five triple in row three, which places the nine in box three. The three in row two places four, three. The three in column two will place six, four. Four, eight, three, four, three, nine, six, one, nine. Yeah, we're away at this point. It's just a matter of filling in the rest of the digits. Well, just under 24. Yeah, there were a lot of triples, at least a couple that I didn't see, which is why it took as long as it did. But, relatively straightforward.